What's up guys, Steve Conroy with Lug Away Junk Removal and Demolition. All right, part two we just filmed. That was about business. I can put the link up here. Uh, Q&A about business with uh, junk removal. Um, this video is going to be five questions and answers about the truck and trailer portion um, of junk removal. So question one is, why did I choose a steak body or rack body over a metal can? Um, oftentimes you'll see junk removal companies, uh, landscape companies, they just have, it's an all metal can. Dump trailers, they're all metal. So mine, uh, I'll put a link up to the video here. Um, it talks all about my truck, how I piece it together, all that stuff. So I have wood floor planks um, above, um, you know, the, the uh, bottom of the, I guess the, what is it, the like the braces of the truck. That's not the right word for it, but that's the word I'm using. Um, so, and the sides of mine are racks, and then I built wood on the side. So, you know, why did I choose that over um, a metal can? So, my reason being was I didn't want to deal with piercing the body and having to, you know, weld and replace things and rust and all of that. Um, so, we haven't had a problem with the planks. They're replaceable. I haven't had to replace them, but they are replaceable. Same with the sides. Um, it just gives me um, flexibility if something were to happen and it just makes me more comfortable. I know guys that have pierced uh, their the floor of their dump bodies, whether that's a trailer or a truck, um, with appliances or concrete, anything really heavy that's you know getting slammed down on it, with, whether you're loading it or you're dumping it. Um, I don't think it happens too, too often, but it does happen. Um, so that was just my, my choice when, um, when, I, when I bought the truck. I love this thing and I wouldn't change it. Question number two, can you put a dump kit onto a box truck and essentially now you have a dump truck? So I'm not 100% familiar with the answer to this question, but I'm gonna offer my advice and guidance on it. Um, so the answer to your question to start is yes, you can put a dump on, you can put a hoist on basically anything. Um, the, the problem I think you would run into with a box truck is weight. So that's a huge thing with hauling, trucking, junk removal, demo. When you're hauling, you know, this junk or this debris to the dump, um, legally you're only allowed to haul so much weight. Um, like this stuff I have in the back here, this is all demo debris from a gut job in Cambridge and this truck is driving like a boat on the road because it's got two tons in it. So I'm legally allowed to carry two tons, which is 4,000 pounds. Now, is it possible that this thing could be overloaded a little bit? Yeah, sure. I mean, is a possibility that it's under 4,000 pounds? Definitely. Um, but you can tell when you're driving it that, you know, when you're turning and stopping, you know, it, it's driving like a boat because it's heavy. Your brakes are only rated to stop a certain amount of weight. Um, so when you get into a box truck, I'm not 100% sure with the dump kit hoist installed on it, that adds weight. And then also with a box truck, you know, you can, you can pile stuff up so high because it's all enclosed. Whereas this, you go four and a half, five feet tall, however the size of your dump truck are, and that's it, you slap the tarp on and you go. Um, so I would think that it's very easy to overload a box truck, so you may come into trouble driving that thing down the road or and stopping, to be more specific. Also, you would wanna make sure that you have a hoist that can handle that, because if you can load, if you can slam pack a box truck full of the stuff that I'm pulling, I guarantee you, with the size of it, because of the height, you'd be able to fill more than I can fit in here, and then is your hoist gonna be able to handle it? Nine times out of 10, the answer is yes, um, but you know, you, you don't wanna be stuck with a, you know, a broken hoist, and now you, you, know, you can't work the rest of the day because you just messed up your truck. Um, so things to think about um, going down that road. Question number three, can you pull your dump trailer with your dump truck? The answer to this question is absolutely yes. Um, when I bought this, I wanted the tow package um, with the you know hitch, and they didn't install it, and I was pretty bummed out about that. But 
I was also unfamiliar about weight ratings and everything when I bought this truck. I knew that you could legally carry X amount of weight, but I was not familiar with the, you know, the special number of 26,000 gross vehicle weight rating. So if you're pulling your dump truck, if you're driving your dump truck and you're also pulling a trailer, if your combined gross vehicle weight rating is more than 26,000 pounds, which it will be, you are no longer legal and you need a CDL to drive it. So like my pickup and my dump trailer, if I load my dump trailer to the max, which is 10,000 pounds, um, that and my pickup truck plus the actual weight of the trailer itself is just under 26,000, which means I'm legal to drive at the max capacity my trailer can hold. If I hooked that up to my dump truck and I was hauling stuff in the dump truck and hauling stuff in the dump trailer, trying to kill two birds with one stone, I would be way over and at that point you're not legal, at that point you're getting fined, at that point your business is gonna get shut down if someone sees that happening. So tread, tread very, very, very carefully when you're doing that. Again, this coincides with you know the weight stuff that we're talking about. Get familiar with what you're legally allowed to hold. Get familiar with the brake rating on your vehicle. Get familiar with the weight of your vehicle and you know how much everything weighs that you're that you're going to be pulling. Pay attention to dump fees so that when you get to a job like this job, I know that this is going to be at least 2 tons. It could be a little bit more because we've pulled eight truckloads from this from this job already and every single one of them has been right around um, two tons and you want to be familiar with that stuff because I could have easily kept packing this truck like there is more than enough space for me to you know go up a little but if I'm if I'm pulling six thousand pounds back there I'm driving on the highway right now if I need to slam on my brakes my truck's gonna say yeah see you later pal and I'm going through the friggin' windshield, more importantly, probably killing the people in front of me. Um, so you, you have to be familiar with that stuff because you need to be legal um, throughout the course of your day, throughout the, the, the lifetime of your business. If you're not operating your business responsibly like that, you're putting yourself and everyone else in danger and you know that just makes everyone else look bad. So all good things to think about. Question number four. Will a lift gate help eliminate the need for a hired hand since I won't need help loading the larger items? Do you have a hired hand because you can load faster and complete more jobs? Um, so a lift gate, yeah, is gonna, you're not gonna need someone to lift something if you have uh, a lift gate, but that doesn't mean that that eliminates, um, you know, your need for, for help. So a lift gate is gonna aid in you know, you have a piano and you need to get it in your truck. Easy. You got a cast iron tub to get in your truck. Easy. You got, uh, you know, a concrete boulder that someone's getting rid of that you somehow got to your truck. Lift gate. Easy. Um, all of that stuff, minus the boulder, we put in the truck regularly. We put pianos in here all the time. We do, you know, we do all that heavy stuff. No lift gate. So, yeah, it's going to help el eliminate, you know, a helper I guess but you need a helper to get that stuff to the truck um, th the reason that all junk removal companies have employees is you know to get shit done um, you're not going to get much done as a one-man show even if you have a lift gate because you're going to require your customers to have everything curbside for you or in their driveway that you could back right up to um, Nine times out of 10, your customer is hiring you because they can't, they won't, or they don't want to um, do any of the lifting. Um, so if you wanna get a lift gate and you're buying a dump truck or you have one and you wanna install it on a dump truck, sure. I mean, yeah, that's that's definitely going to, you know, alleviate some of the strain you put on your body, um, but I've never had an issue putting a piano in I've never had an issue, you know, lifting heavy stuff in there. There's a there's a strategic method to it, and you learn that strategic method by doing it over and over again. Um, 
I didn't want a lift gate because I didn't want to deal with the headaches of the lift gate. What happens if it breaks? Um, you know, what happens if it uh, if it's broken and now I can't get into the truck um, or get into the back or we can't access the I don't know. It just seemed like a problem to me, and, and we don't we don't need the lift gate. So to answer the question. Um, yeah, it would eliminate help, but you still need help getting those those heavy items to the truck. So you can't just buy a lift gate and say, nice, now I don't need employees because I have a lift gate. That is not the case. Question number five, what are the dimensions of a junk removal truck? This is a great question because this is gonna help some guys that don't have a dump truck, and this is a great way to think about it. So. The regular dimensions of a junk removal truck is just a 15 yard dumpster. It's 12 feet long, eight feet wide, four to five feet tall. That's gonna depend, you know, how much, if, are you like 14 and a half yards? Are you 16 yards? But a 15 yarder is usually 12 feet long, eight feet wide, and four feet tall. Ours is four and a half feet tall. Um, so when I started out in my pickup truck, I built, the walls on the sides of my pickup truck high enough to be equivalent to half of a 15 yarder so that I could price accordingly. So I get my price structure in place and then I said, okay, my pickup truck is half of this. So every full load we do is really a half of a load in a real junk removal dump truck. So it's stuff to think about. You just need to, the, the way to get the yardage is you multiply the length, the width, and the height Multiply those all together, length times width times height, and divide by 27, and that gets you your your yardage, how many yards you, you're carrying. So measure your, your uh, pickup truck. It's usually four feet wide, um, or four and a half feet wide, I think, and uh, six feet long, and then you can put you know five foot high boards on the side, and now you're at half a load, or you're roughly around there. Um, but Regular junk removal trucks are 15 yards, and like I said, length times width times height divided by 27, that's your yardage. That's how you're going to price because you wanna start your pricing structure, you know, you, you wanna get your pricing structure in place perfectly. You can increase your price, but the structure itself, you wanna get that in place when you start so that as you're growing, you're on track. You're not like, oh wait, now I gotta go back and rethink everything, now I got this bigger truck, no. You use your pickup truck, do it at a half of a, you know, a, a 15 yarder. Um, so seven and a half yards or seven yards, whatever it comes out to be for you. Um, and you do it that way. And that will streamline everything once you grow into a dump trailer, once you grow into um, a, uh, a 15 yard dump truck. Um, and for those of you who maybe have a dump truck and it's smaller than 15 yards, or you have a dump trailer and it's smaller than 15 yards, that's fine too. Use that, um, use the method, length, time, length times width times height and divide it by uh, 27, figure out your yards so that you can get your full truck load. Say your full truck load is actually 12 yards because that's all your dump trailer can hold is 12 yards. Now you know that so you can price accordingly. Um, and you can let your customers know that and you can be upfront and honest about everything so that they're not like, uh, well, this guy pulled up, his truck seems a little bit smaller than some of the other trucks I've seen driving around that do this. And, you know, but he's a little bit cheaper and you just need to be upfront and honest with them. And now you have the tools to explain to them. So you're an open book. So they feel extremely comfortable using your services. Um, so. That's part three. Um, I know that this is gonna be beneficial to you guys. If you have more questions, put them in the comments. I love doing these videos because I can do them while I'm driving here. Um, so uh, again, I apologize for um, not being able to film so many day in the lifes anymore. I started talking about this in part two. Um, I'm just filming these both on the same day here because I'm doing multiple trips back and forth to Cambridge all day um, here on this beautiful Saturday, 38 degrees here in Mass. Um, but put the questions in the comments below. Any questions you guys have, any um, ideas on whatever videos you, you think would be beneficial to you, I'm all ears. Um, we've been super slammed uh, this winter and I think that's probably because of COVID and people are home. Um, so I'm very grateful for that. Usually it's slow for us in the winter. So. 
Um, we, we don't have too much time on our hands and we are doing a lot of commercial work right now, um, which is kind of hindering the day in the lives. But I want to keep putting stuff out for you guys. It's fun for me and it's beneficial for you. Um, so let's keep at it. Uh, again, thank you to all the subscribers. We wouldn't be in this position getting this content out there without you guys so i appreciate it if you're new to the channel like the videos ring the bell do all the stuff that all these other guys tell you to do i don't know what it is i'm just a guy hauling junk trying to give you the best advice that i can give and iron out any kinks um so you don't have to deal with kind of the bs that i went through um getting to the point that i'm at now so until next time thanks